happens. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another Unleash Your Sexy Live podcast. And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> Did our plug-in go in there? No, I have focus this Oh, let's do it again. Ready? And the crowd goes wild. Is that not ready? Oh. Okay. We're gonna have a little. Can, can I have like a can I have like a little button here I could just press and the crowd goes wild like a can I, can like I a little, little like yeah go ahead like a little um no I think I'm gonna bring my own speaker <laughs> with my own little laptop and be like and plug right <laughs> and crowd goes wild but I'm gonna press oh, all my yes, I'm gonna press all my own that. little like sound effect buttons. <laughs> And we should have the, the one laughing. that goes, like when someone's not funny, and it goes, da 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 Like the fart. <laughs> the fart. Yeah. The fart. Welcome back. Today we are going to be discussing the topic of being a gentleman in today's era. We have the beautiful and stunning, well-known Hottest blonde shell ever, Lisa Daniels. Hi, my love. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Did we get the plug in yet? <laughs> no, still no. Nothing bad. <laughs> <laughs> gonna do it again. <laughs> By the time it gets to me, you're gonna be like, Lisa Daniels. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least we'll have people in the background be like, yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so Lisa and I are always talking about men nowadays. We're women, and women are always like, ah, oh, let's talk about men and, and our men and who we're dating and, you know, like, like where we're at in today's era, because Lisa and I are both the same age. So we're both brought up in a different time where men were just brought up differently. And really interesting on that note, so let me go into a random, I might be random, but here we go, <laughs> is I find it interesting is you're, you're, furnished, you're first generation from Colombia, right? Born and raised? Well, I was born in Colombia. Okay. But like my parents, both born in Colombia, both sides, grandparents, both sides. Um, some of my first cousins were born here, but I wasn't, but I came here when I was two. Okay, yeah. so then you, we would consider you some, kind of like second generation. Yeah. So I always explain something like I find it really interesting that the guys I have dated, and which most of us who are older, um, they're usually like if they're of Latino descent, you know, I feel like there's a certain way that they were raised by their mom, by their right. dad, how to mm -hmm. treat a woman, you know, there's just certain things that we were taught. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because I always find if I ever meet a guy and he actually is a gentleman right, and he has respect for women, mm -hmm. it's usually because he's either A, was from Mexico, right? Is, <laughs> I was just going right? to say From that. Mexico, because that's how they're taught. Latino, some Latino, type of Latino. Right, mm -hmm. or they're second generation where their mom and dad were from there. So they right. still have those, those like morals yes. and, and, yes. and values instilled within them. Right. Right. So it's interesting because you and I are way older, right? And not so way older, <laughs> <laughs> more mature. Yes, we age like fine wine. More knowledgeable. Thank more God. More experience. Okay, we're more experienced. Do you prefer to date Latinos versus like anything else? Just curious because now you're bringing up the oh, mom thing, the wow, first generation. That's really so. interesting because honestly, I feel most people I've ever dated have been Latino. Right. And I think it's because being, being raised in a Latino family. Yep. Like I know my mom brought me up like cook, you clean, you, right. you know, you take care, like da 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 be loving, be nurturing, mm -hmm. help out. Da, da, da. So that's how I was brought up. Mm -hmm. So for me, I feel like meeting a man that treats me that way, mm -hmm. wow, like, I, right. it's expected, you know, because I right. got to see, you know, the way, like, you know, my, my parents' relationship was right. when it was good. <laughs> right, right. You no, know, and, and for me, I feel like, I honestly feel like, like, the men I have ever made it, dated, whatever race, mm -hmm. whether they're Italian or Latino, mm -hmm. whatever race, it was really interesting. They were either from 
that place like Mexico or Italy, right. or they're like second generation, right. where they were still brought up very, very old school, yes. very valued. I love that. Da 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 da. So there is something that I do. Like I'm like the minute I hear somebody's like born there or second generation, I'm always like, mm, "What's up, daddy? You know what to do. <laughs> What's up, puppy? Yeah, I know what to do. You know what to do. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. Like you know your roles. You yes, know your roles. Exactly. Okay. So question for you, because we talk about us all the time. Because this is like one of our things we talk about all the time. What is your definition? Oh, cheers. Here. Wait, 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 wait. I'm wait, sorry. Wait. Wait. Before I answer the question. Okay, here it is to cheers. having an amazing podcast and to teaching most of you men how to be a gentleman and treat your woman. Sorry, I'm a, I would sit. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So how to be a gentleman or what I think a gentleman should be. Yeah. What is okay. your definition? Well, I think they should be cur- uh, like polite. Polite. Right? So, I mean, okay, for example... I don't know if this qualifies for that, but I think like if a guy th- asks you out for a date, he doesn't call you and say, well, How do you get a, get a little do you want to go on a date? Do you, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, I'm like, what do you want to do? No, I want a guy <laughs> to be like, hey, I, I could pick you up this Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. and uh, just wear jeans or dress or this and just I'll come out up to the door and knock and kind of get you out. That to me, like first date is like a polite thing. Opens the door, gets in there. Um, To me, that's just really polite, you know? And this generation is just like more like that. Like, I'll pick you up, just be downstairs, (laughs) you know? Oh, wait, that's polite. I'm hearing like, oh, I'll Uber and meet you there. (laughs) What? (laughs) Right. Meet an Uber and meet you there? like, great. So so should I be standing outside waiting for you? Should I walk in? Are we going to split the bill? (laughs) (laughs) Let me know right now because Law and Order is on and I'm about to miss my show. (laughs) Yeah, or like, um, you know, open, like, pull the chair out for you. Like, I see some, like, old, old school stuff, um, when women were like, I'm going to go powder my nose, right? Every, all the gentlemen would get up from the I'm table standing. and stand up because she stood up. And then when she walked away, they would sit back down. And I'm just like, can you Wait. imagine the guys nowadays doing that? They're probably like clowning no, each other. I did. I actually, you made me think of someone from my past who, that still does, every that, does t- that? Well, not, I mean, we don't, we're not together anymore, but okay. I'm actually remembering, like, there was, I mean, the minute you said, the minute you said that, it actually brought, like, one guy into my mind where I remember he was that, that like, way. respectful. Was he Latino? He, half Latino and half Italian. Okay, there you go. That's a combo. That's a powerful combo. Uh, oh, I'm feisty. <laughs> I'm feisty as a motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, you don't get the positive, but, but I remember the that, like, literally, he'd be like, I'd get up, and he'd get up, and I was like... Do you have to go too? <laughs> Do you have to go to the bathroom too? <laughs> like it was a definite, like, yeah, you're getting laid tonight. <laughs> uh, you Thank won. You. Ding, ding. I get ding, it. Ding, 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 ding. Winner, 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 winner. Like I know one guy right now, he's my business partner. Mm-hmm. But every time, I've known him for six years. And every time I go somewhere with him, he does that. And I'm just like, wow. do you really exist? Like, what? He, every time the door, you know, people, and he, you know, people will know you for a certain amount of time, but then they get over it. That's it. Right. I'm, do, I'm done it's opening like the door. they just their friend, and they're yes. tolerating you, like, exactly. okay, you can open your own door now. But this guy, I've known him for six years, and he'll, he's so um, consistent. Girls like that. He still does the same thing. So it's not fake, it's just the way he is. I feel too. Adding on to that is, I feel when a man's still passionate about a woman, mm-hmm. you know, he still does those things. Exactly. But this generation, like, guys lose it because there's so many girls that, they want the same. I think they want the same, like, so they could feel that passion still. But they end up losing it with girls that are, like, fake, I, I want to say, or just, like, they're all there for the wrong reasons. Okay. So they end up kind of treating the girls like, mm. so the next girl they meet, they're like, oh, she's going to be like the same way. You know? So I feel like they end up losing it. Now, do you think it's losing it? Because I kind of, I, well, just my opinion mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and experience is I honestly feel like the long, younger generation never even saw it. Because their parents. They've never even seen that's, a man that's, 
oh, um, stand up when his girlfriend gets up off the mm-hmm. chair to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And it does start from home. Mm-hmm. It totally does. Yeah. It starts from home. So for it's sure. Like, I'm, 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 I'm actually really excited to have this podcast today mm-hmm. because I know you and I come from a generation where we're always speaking about like that, that one guy that did this for me and mm-hmm. that and like how we are like just super loyal, super old school and oh, in yeah. certain values, you know, like mm-hmm. I know some people are like, how are you going to be an adult film scar and have value or morals? Oh, Very simple. Gosh. Like I'm loyal. Right. You know, I mean, like my, my job friendship is real. Is my different. love is real. Yeah. As, like, it does Nothing not do with it. No. anything I no. do. It doesn't cross your morals, your beliefs, your religion. Something, something right. different. It's all different categories. Yes. So, men, please, right now, text your best friend. <laughs> Text the guy friend, text that one jerk, lady, text your man or your ex-man that has not been treating you like a gentleman. And last come right now, make sure you tune in to Unleash Your Sexy Podcast because they're putting you on game on... I, and you know what I would love for 2020 is starting like a whole new movement. Mm-hmm. I feel like 2000 let's say 2014 to 2019 was so like it was finally the women's time to speak up oh totally and like women empowerment and then i kind of felt 2019 women 2018 and 19 women got a little too masculine too angry oh my gosh i get it like you know like we like and Mm -hmm. so hurt and what i want to see for 2000 and i felt for 2020 is to like inspire men and women. Mm-hmm. You know, like like now women are in their powers. Okay, yeah. Let me can I tell you something yeah. about that. So go, I have a little go, story. Go, 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 go. I'm not gonna say no names, but quick shot. <laughs> oh, please, you um, you're gonna need it. Here, so here's 2020, new era. Mm. And if Jasmine yawns again, she's doing a shot. <laughs> so I dated this guy, mm-hmm. short short time, and okay, this is such a like a turn off for me. But he didn't have money, right? Okay, first, let's, okay, different conversation, but mm-hmm. I, I, if you're just meeting a girl, don't ever say you don't have money. If you've been in a relationship for a long period of time and you go through the struggles, then right. it's a different story. But when you first meet a girl, you're like, I don't have money. You know, it's not attractive because, <laughs> first of all, because I work my ass off, okay? I work like 13 hours a day, seven and days girl, a week. you can't get my number either. <laughs> But I, I know when you get a job. But I work, I work so hard. Because I ain't about to go to take you to court for some money, motherfucker, because you broke. For your pinto. Your pinto. No, but I work very hard. Yeah. And, and I just, I could buy my own stuff. I could do my own stuff. But it's so unattractive right. to know that you can't provide, you know, why are you asking me out? You know, if you can barely provide for yourself. But anyway, so I, I was dating this guy for like a very short amount of time. And so when we would go out... I order my vodka, Grey Goose, and then and her favorite drink is vodka. <laughs> so anybody who's on her Amazon wish list, do you have one? Grey Goose bottle. <laughs> yes, Grey Goose bottle, please, because it's her choice For the of drink holidays. is vodka. And so this guy wanted me to stop ordering the Grey Goose because he couldn't afford it. Okay. So me, I, I feel embarrassed for him. I feel embarrassed for myself and him. But did he tell you that, or he was just like, hey, no, he told me that. Drink. No, oh, he did. Yeah, he told me that he can't afford that. Okay. So he didn't like going out with me because he uh, felt bad. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, well, I don't want to make you feel bad. So I started putting my gray goose at home. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> you water bottled your shit. <laughs> in, a, in my coffee cup, <laughs> so I wouldn't feel like I had to like make him feel uncomfortable when yes. we went out. But then afterwards, I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I could order my own shit. Why am I like ma- trying to work to make him feel comfortable? Right. So that's where I feel like the women empowerment came in, where you could buy, you could do your own thing. You don't need a guy. But I was like trying to like make him feel comfortable. And it's embarrassing to go to a restaurant and you show up with your coffee cup. <laughs> she <laughs> said know? coffee cup. She, she's vodka. at Boas with her coffee cup with her I date. Bite. Like I was. filling up her vodka drink. Like, just to make him feel comfortable. <laughs> just to make him feel comfortable. Right. So I'm like, I shouldn't be embarrassed. I shouldn't feel uncomfortable. I could do this for myself. You're the one. You know, so even if you don't have money, just don't say it. Just make it work. Just make it happen. You know, it's just, it was just, for me, it's, it's a big turnoff. I'll be back on subject. 
Oh, okay. Uh, but um, I was taking this one real quick because I haven't. I can recall. Oh my god, this. your hair is all. I know. <laughs> okay, so on that note, I love that you even brought that up because I find obviously I date people who are way younger than me. <laughs> That's another problem, right? Of looking young. <laughs> That's another uh, problem. Yes. <laughs> you know when you're just a cougar. Is am I a cougar too? Obviously. I mean, like, I mean, I make a lot of money. I make mm -hmm. a lot of money. And in my twenties, I didn't make the money I make today. Right. So I do get, I do have like, the, like um, I don't even know what it's called, but what one thing I do do right is like if a guy asks me out and I know he's a lot younger than me and he probably doesn't make as much money as me, and everybody knows me, I'm bougie. I like expensive restaurants. I like expensive food. You're like you know, both. Like, like I love to eat. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Like I'm down for some. You you go to the taco for some, stand from, 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 like if it's good. Like I'm down for some bomb ass spread from prison. Like I'll eat that shit yeah, too. Don't get me wrong. You're bold. You are bold. <laughs> Trust me. Like I go both ways. But I feel so at the same time it's interesting because I have people like guys asking me on a date. Right? We have people over here behind us, you guys. And when they ask me on a date, if he's younger than me and maybe I know he doesn't have as much money. I kind of already know. Right. So what the first question I'll always ask is, Where do you go? hey, like, um, what's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> because that's kind of giving him the invitation right. without me being bougie of what can you afford <laughs> and what can you not afford? You know, so if he's just like, you know, well, cool, like, I know this hole in the wall Mexican place, let's go there. I already know, okay. Like, that's his vibe. He doesn't have money, obviously, to take me to where I want to go. You know? So I'm like, okay, cool. If he's like, oh, I want to go to Olive Garden, I'm like, okay, you got a little more money. He's like King Taco. Right? <laughs> or, you know, if he's like, hey, you know, I want to go to Catch, you know, or I want to go to, then you're like, like, Nobu. Now, now you're up I'm there. I'm like, okay, then, like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like I don't, I try not to discriminate, you know, because... Uh, somebody, well, hold on, wait, wait. Somebody without money already lets me know, like, you don't have dreams, you don't have goals, you don't have right. a strive. Now, somebody who I know is working 18 hour days on a business that has no money coming in, and you're working your ass off, I fuck with you. Exactly. I fuck That's with you. That's a different story. Because in the future, yes. you're going to be popping, popping. Like, right. Like, your, your ambition matches mine, your work ethic right. matches mine. Exactly. But somebody that doesn't, I'm like, yeah, we're You're not right. going to get along. But. but there has been times where, obviously, I always ask that. And they might be like, hey, Olive Garden. And I'm thinking, mm, no, I want to go to catch. <laughs> and I already know, like, the drinks are, like, what, $32 each there? So, like, oh, so, uh, so sometimes I'll be like, if I'm in the mood, like, I had a bad week, like, well, I want to eat good, you're cute, and we'll have I'll a good time. It? Yeah, no, like, literally, like, okay. I'll, like, I'll cover the bell, you know? So sometimes I'll be like, okay, look, you know, you know we're hanging out tonight. Let me treat you to something. Right. And it's not about treating him as if I'm, I want to go. <laughs> right. And I want to be there. That's how I felt with the vodka thing. I'm just going to buy my own stuff. <laughs> I'll pay for your dinner. I'll pay for my, but let me get my vodka. I want. Right. But, but, but it lasts for a minute. It lasts for right. a minute. Like, I'm cool. Like, I'll cover it because I'm being, oh, I drank mine. Yeah, you didn't even drink yours. I'm taking baby steps because tequila doesn't work for me. Oh, Because <laughs> you're a baby? I'm a baby. You're a little baby. A little baby. Okay. Wait. So, so real quick. So back to being gentlemen. Okay. okay. So, uh, she, she, so she was talking about having money and not having money, right? Okay. So next question is, ooh, okay. Is it being a nice guy? Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that nice guys finish last? Well, well okay. It depends. If a girl likes... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay, so here's the question. Yeah. Being a gentleman, right? I, I feel like a lot of men say, oh, that's nice guys. Nice guys finish last. Yeah. yeah. So now coming from, like, let's talk about, like, some real shit on some real shit. Right. Girls like assholes, you know what I mean? Yeah, so now him being like, ah, guys don't like nice guys, and guys, guys finish last, blah, 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 blah. Right. So... What from okay. there will you take? Because I have a whole lot to say about this. <laughs> okay, so for me, I think if a girl likes you, she doesn't care. She's going to like you no matter what. Nice guy or bad boy, right? But if you're a bad boy, you're only giving them a challenge to make you know work. So they're probably going to like you a little bit more. But if a girl really likes you, she's going to appreciate the gentlemanness. 
but she's, it's not going to, like, turn her off. If she likes you, likes you. If she doesn't like you that much and you're too much of a gentleman, she's going to be turned off. If a girl likes you, they're going to like you no matter what. So your turn. Okay. <laughs> no, your turn. Come on, and, hmm. Go in. Okay. So I have a different perspective on this. Okay. Is I feel, not even feel, but I think, I just feel like statistically wise, if we speak about energy, because you know I'm on to quantum physics and law of attraction, and right. we, we attract everyone that comes into my, our life. Right. So my question would always be to somebody or myself, if I attract a douchebag, what did within me, an energy I gave off that told this person it was okay to treat me like shit? Okay. Right? Yes. There was something missing within me that okay. stood up and said, no. Right. Wrong girl, wrong attraction. This is what I deserve. This is what I'm going to stand for. And we don't, you can't even get on my level. Mm -hmm. So we will never connect. Thank right. you for saying hello. Keep walking. Right. So that's how I feel. I really feel about that. And I feel this is at the end of the day, I feel like a woman that needs a man to treat her like shit mm -hmm. or to play games with her deserves him because mm -hmm. she honestly feels she's worth shit. Mm -hmm. So she wants to be treated like shit. Right. Because a woman with class, with dignity, and with Stop. morals would never, ever allow someone to even step right. to her like that. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the vibrational energies don't match. Right. If I'm up here vibrating greatness, vibrating goals and dreams and positivity and love and light, right. and I'm loving and I'm caring and I'm sexual and I'm, I'm, I'm positive, but you're down here and you're like, I'm going to play games or I'm going to be right. an asshole or I'm going to treat her uh, like shit, da 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 yeah. Bro, like, we're going to be like this. Look, two passing ships. Whew. Right. I won't recognize you. Now, if I'm below that... You'll deal with it. Yeah. Like, you exactly. know, cause trust me, I've been there. I've been in relationships oh, yeah. that were bad relationships. Mm -hmm. And it's because I was believing it at that moment. Oh, this is all I deserve. Or, right. This or is don't the best change. Yes. I, oh, I get da, 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 that. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But when I raise my own standards, my own vibrational frequency, mm -hmm. and when people are like, it's interesting. We're like, oh, you're a gold digger. Or, you know, you're this Everybody or that. Everybody thinks that. And it's, time. you know what? I would hope that women, because honestly, like, women don't think that very often. They might pretend, but I wish a woman would have that much of self-confidence and goals that she wants a man who meets, who is her balance. Right. Like, hey, I'm a goal-getter. You should be a goal-getter. I'm chasing the bag. You chasing the bag. That's so hard here, though. Right? Like, Very like hard. There should be an alignment of goals and dreams. For sure, for sure. So I honestly feel like if a guy says, oh, hey, you know, I have to be mean to attract a girl, you know what lets me know? You're emotionally and spiritually bankrupt. That you need an emotionally and spiritually bankrupt woman to get along with. Because so a woman, because oh, a woman who is spiritually awakened mm -hmm. and emotionally awakened, wouldn't feelings. even fuck with someone like that. Right. You're not even on her the level to even vibrate with the greatness. So you think the bad boy finishes last? Always. Look Good. who we, look That's who right. they end up with. Right. That's true. Honestly, That's true. every bad boy I know ends up with some psychotic, crazy, yes. motherfucking baby mama drama mm -hmm. ex shit. Yes. Because that's what they're vibrating, and mm -hmm. that's, what they st th that's what they stay with. Right. And women as well. Mm -hmm. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah. Now so, that you say it that way, so yes, that's my, very true. So my take on this right now is if you're a nice guy, you're winning. Why would Absolutely. You, why would you even want a girl who thinks it's okay for you to treat her like shit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I would never in my life want to be with a guy that was okay with me treating him like shit. Right. Because so I'm like, whoa, like you yeah. have no balls. Like, how am I going to, how are you going to inspire me? How mm -hmm. are you going to encourage you me? Need to inspire how each are you going to lift me up? Right. When you think it's okay, like, for me to sit here and let you treat me like shit. Mm -hmm. And I'll mm -hmm. be like, hey, me little puppy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk around eggshells around right. you. Or him. Or him, him be or that her. Way. Yes, exactly. exactly. Vice versa, vice versa. I get that. So I honestly feel at the end, at the end of life, everything's a journey, every, every mm -hmm. relationship's a journey. 
the nice guy is always going to win because at the end of the day, he's going to end up with a most loving, vibrant, positive, right. nurturing woman That's true. who's matching his vibration. Right. And these bad boys are going to continue to end up with, with the same girls. psycho, yes. crazy mm -hmm. bitches. But I've heard so many stories of like young girls and they're always like, well, he's a nice guy, but I like the one that doesn't return my text messages. You know what I mean? So I've heard that yeah. like so many times, yeah. but I, I'm at your level, but I'm just saying that because I hear so much of that and I'm just like, wow. And I, I think I feel I can answer that really easily because I've done so many YouTube videos on how to approach a girl. You know, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. how to have a sexy date, right. you know, like how to get a text back. Mm -hmm. And it always comes down to A, either they vibe with you and there's chemistry or they don't fuck with you. Right. So it don't matter whether he texts you or not, because a girl could be like, I'm not interested, but he didn't text you. be like, oh my God, but he didn't text me. It's not even about that. It's a matter of you didn't even vibe from him from the beginning. Okay, let me ask you this. So there's a lot of girls too that do this. The sex with the bad boy, for some reason, is always bomb. And with the gentle, not only, okay, but I've heard this, I've heard this, okay? And with the gentleman, it's always like so, ta da. <laughs> <laughs> so, you haven't heard this before? Okay, I've heard it. It's no, exactly. hold on. Okay, wait, wait. That's what I've heard. But is, is that your personal experience? No, not mine. Okay. I'm happy, so right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so, high five. That's not my personal experience either. No, but. When I was younger, yes, but not now, mm. not now. Okay. I think as you get older, you kind of grow, like you said, you don't want to fuck with somebody like this, but when you're younger, you don't know. You're just like, uh, he doesn't like me, fuck. You know what I mean? Like just flopping back and forth. But when you get older, you stand your ground. I feel for me, maybe it's just me, so maybe I might be different than other girls, mm -hmm. is I instantly know the minute I lock eyes with someone, mm -hmm. Like, there's hardcore sexual chemistry. Mm -hmm. So they could probably be a good boy or, or, a boy or a bad boy. Right. And it's not about the way they treated me. It would, it's just there's a sexual chemistry and tension yes. where you're just like, mm. I fucking mm -hmm. hate you, but I'm going to fuck you. Or it could be like, I fucking love you and can't keep my fucking hands up. I'm still mm -hmm. going to fuck this shit out of you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I felt when for us to, for, for me personally to tell somebody like, um, a girl would be like, well, hey, well, it's just me like, shit, that's why the sex is good. Mm -hmm. it's, I feel like that's incorrect. I feel it's, it's that that chemistry was ready to the minute they met. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. I've met a lot of people that treated me like shit, and there was no sexual chemistry, and the sex motherfucking sucked. Really? Yes. Okay, I get it. That's rare. That to me is rare. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, because I've always heard, like, they treat me like shit, but the sex is a bomb. And I'm just like... Well, I think gosh. makeup sex, so it's... I almost feel like it's, it's, it's just a sensitive subject, because it's like, are you dating, your relationship? Because I kind of feel when you love, you're, like, you're madly fucking crazy in love with somebody, and you guys are fighting, you yeah. just... Like, at that moment, you're like, fuck you, get out of my house. Mm -hmm. He's like, fuck you, mm -hmm. back. But you still love each other, but maybe right. you're mad because you didn't put the toilet seat down. <laughs> mm. You know? And you're like, pack your shit and get out. And he's like, I will. You're like, good. Right? And the next day, you're like, wait, but I miss you. <laughs> You know, because it wasn't yeah. out of like, because you guys didn't didn't vibe. It was. There's a meme that I saw once, and it says bipolar females be like, pack your shit and lay your ass on the bed. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Are we bipolar? <laughs> <laughs> Are we bipolar? I think. I think, I, I think I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm more the opposite. I'm very. I'm very stubborn. Like when, once I'm mad, I'm mad for I'm mad. a long time. Like if I say well, pack your stuff, I'm not joking. Like I will pack it for you. It'll be out the door. See with me, and I'll be serious, but trust me, like, give it like a two or three weeks so I calm down and I'm like, You, <laughs> when I'm mad, you I miss me <laughs> <laughs> when I'm mad, I can still fuck, but then I go back to being mad. So, you can, mm -hmm. I just want to have, I just want to get off. <laughs> So I don't know what that means. <laughs> wow. I'm, but that's probably why our See, I'm the different. opposite. Yeah. No. I'm the opposite. When I'm mad, oh. Stay like, away. Don't touch no, I'm, nothing. No, I, I literally go from like one, like 100,000% passion to zero. Like I will make you feel like you've never 
existed in my life. Yeah, like, you're like literally. You're dead. <laughs> no, oh, all yeah. That's brutal. No, <laughs> you I, are brutal. I sent that text so many times. You're dead to me. I've, <laughs> I've sent it a lot of times because at that moment I'm really feeling it because that's how I get it. deep and passionate. But there's always I want to say that it's like a three week to four week mark where it depends on what they do. Because because even my daughter will tell you like with me she's like my mom's really slow to anger like slow 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 S- slow to anger. Like what does that mean? Like you built up slow back. like like pissing me off to take a long time like to get back up. No 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 just trying to get me mad period. Oh, I'm always okay. like it takes la, you a lot to get mad then la, right. La, la, Okay, that's the and way. The same work way. It, work it. We better work it. Work I'm not it. Like, mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> like yo, like it just, it just really does. Like I'm very unbothered by a lot. Mm-hmm. But the mm-hmm. minute you, I'm, I'm either zero or a thousand. Not even a hundred. A hundred's nothing for me. A thousand. It's either one or the other. So the minute I hit one thousand, and Jasmine will see it. She'll be like, oh shit, like she's hit the limit. Like yeah, like yes. oh, like don't talk to her. Nobody talk to her. Don't go to the room. Don't message her. Nothing. And I could literally be like that. For days and weeks and like the whole end of the month, like I will not talk to you at all. Like so my anger is so intense. I, I, I get that. Me too. I'm the same way. And I think it's people that probably have been through shit because, okay, but this is another thing. I've dated guys. I don't know if you have too. Like that nitpick about well, every I've women too. Fucking, no, but you know. <laughs> no, no, I mean, Does that like, count? <laughs> I don't know if you have dated guys that nitpick. That's what I read. Mean. Nitpick at everything. Where I'm just like. That bothers you? Are you really upset about that? Does that sound familiar to you? Honestly, honestly, no. Oh my gosh. Because okay. I, no joke, and if any of my fucking motherfucking la- past lovers want to tune in right now, YouTube live, and prove me wrong, I, I don't, I've never okay, dated that's... anybody that had problems with me. Well, yeah, okay, so. Other uh, than maybe. One too many drinks. <laughs> okay, that's always my problem. Other than that, like, I've never, like, I've never had a guy I've, complain. I've had I know. guys uh, nitpick at things, like, yeah. this is not supposed to be here. This, and they really get mad. And eventually I'm just like, oh my gosh, you haven't, li- you haven't gone through shit, huh? You haven't lived. <laughs> that sounds like me, I really bad you, OCD. Like, you, did you just move that picture frame <laughs> one eighth of a millimeter over from where it was? You you're do kidding that? me. I do. Oh my god. So you're a nitpicker. No, I, I'm pretty bad. Oh, no, no, I'm pretty bad. Like it'll give me really bad anxiety. So OCD. Yeah, it's really bad. But I, I used to be that way, but I had to calm down. <laughs> no, I had yeah, to calm they down. had me on um it was really, really bad in my twenties that I had to go on medication for seven years for OCD. But your OCD was like you can't move this or do that. No, nothing. Like my whole entire pantry. Like all of the boxes mm-hmm. where there was cereal, oatmeal, or pancake it had mix, to be facing. And that, no, well, they all had to be with the yeah. labels out. Right, and it had to go from tallest to slowest yeah. to the lowest. Mm-hmm. And they all had to be at the edge. Mm-hmm. Nothing could be behind. Mm-hmm. And the next row had to be all cans. Mm-hmm. And if there was, everything had to be in twos. I have to have everything in twos. Mm-hmm. Right? And then, like, the next one would be, then the breads could be there. But the breads, if there was white bread, that had to be two white breads. If there was wheat, had to be two wheat breads. If there's English like muffins, separate. like, everything was pretty crazy. And even my, like, refrigerator. So what happened? Did you change? I went on medication. <laughs> <laughs> because when you have, like, a child, like, everything's oh, like no. a mess. Oh, no. Jasmine thought it was funny to be like, um, yeah, you're like, are you mad? Oh. Are you mad, mom? I'm like, it's, I'm like, it's war. You I'm not gonna not talk to you. I'm gonna be mad at you for a long time. Just mess up all the time. cereal bottles that are alphabetically color coded, and from the tallest <laughs> bottle to Was the lowest box. Was it that bad? Um, oh my god, pobrecita. I don't really remember too much that part. There's nothing gone. But do you think today I'm still pretty OCD? No, no, yeah, not I that think area. Like really tranquila. But I think in other areas, I kind of am, yes? Or no? What do you think? It's a leftover. <laughs> the leftover yeah, stuff. Because we can know when I put the stuff back, like, for the most, if, unless it's closed. But besides closed, you know, like, in your back, okay. you don't care. Yeah, see, I think, you, yeah, yeah, I, no, no, I no. think you're very, like, no, yeah. tranquila. Yeah, 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 no, it was, yeah, yeah probably it, was, worse. it was really bad. Jasmine was really young, too, at third grade, I think, yeah. Um... And yeah, and it was like, honestly like in a whole different topic. So we're just gonna go wherever Sorry. we're gonna go. go this wherever. Let's like go. Let's I feel like spirit leads people wherever we're gonna go. 
But on that note, I um, they had no medication for seven years because they get really bad panic attacks. If things so, weren't done exactly in the order of the way that everything had to be done, yes. which is kind of ridiculous. No, my thing is like I put things in the, in the place, and if you want to use it or borrow it, make sure you put it the same way, right? And if you don't, I have a fucking fit. So <laughs> when, when, remember you were letting me borrow your curling iron? I make sure to try to put it in the same, in the same place the way you laid it out. I, I love just, that. Yeah, you know, I don't think you noticed it, but I'm just like, and when I took the ice out, I make sure to clean the counter. I'm like crazy. Like I want to put it back the way you left it because I am that way. There we go. So then we're both OCD. Oh, it's yes. so weird. But I'm not on medica medication. <laughs> no, no, I've been off medication. Huh? I have to ask the next question. Okay. All right. So okay. I haven't, um, right. I got off medication at 30. And then when you left the medication, did you feel like, oh, I don't really need it. I I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> you know, no, um, I'm not cool. <laughs> they, we should probably, I think we should probably do like a whole podcast on this because I think mm -hmm. it's something that a lot of people probably don't talk about is medication. Mm -hmm. You know, and in most of my podcasts about love dating relationships, but I would love to like um, hit some deeper issues, so and I'm that for back. sure would be yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm because back. we can go, I could go on that first on some deep shit there. Sure. So we're gonna stick to the topic. Mm -hmm. So next question is. Okay, so next topic, next question is back to bad boy versus the nice guy. Okay. Example, the guy who texts you good night, my beautiful. Oh. I'll meet you in my dream tonight. I'll be dreaming of you. And I'm missing you. I wish you were in bed with me. Versus the guy that's like, night girl. I dare a motherfucker. <laughs> um, no, honestly, for me, seriously, if I'm dating somebody and I get that too, like that Good cold night. night girl, bro, who are you with? Yes, where are you at? Exactly. And what you doing? Um, uh, why does that have to be so short? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, go ahead, Noelle, go. Oh, okay. Oh, teacher, pick me, pick me, pick me. Okay. With the under boob, uh, under under boob sticking out. <laughs> she wins. Okay. So if from if, for everybody watching, if you have not read, I think it's John Gray. John Gray wrote a book called Five Love Languages. Okay. So five love. So five lung like the e e. Okay. I know what you're saying. <laughs> so the five love language is this little cute book, and it's written in plain English with really big fonts, oh. you know, so it's not like no scientific mumble jumble. I need and big fonts, yeah. I'm pretty sure, right? Can we make sure I have the right author? Dr. John Gray? Is Dr. John Gray? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Noelle's the only one with the phone. <laughs> and, um, oh yeah, can you look it up, Noelle? And... In this book called The Five Love Languages, mm -hmm. which Dr. John Gray, please give us a shout out for this, is he Gary Chapman. Oh, D Gary Chapman. And you read these books? John Gray, wrong book. Um, you read these books? Oh, I've read every oh, Yes, I've definitely I love read that. these books. Good girl. Okay, so Gary Chapman. I'm sorry, you guys. Gary Chapman has written this amazing book. It's small, it's short, it's cute, to big the font. Point. <laughs> yeah, big font. <laughs> And it's like in like English, so it's not like the scientific doctor mm -hmm, big word mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. And in it, he explains there's five love language that people speak. Okay. So when she just asks, well, hey, if he wants to show me in person how he feels versus writing it, mm -hmm. which would be words of affirmations, mm -hmm. if, you re if you read it, yeah. Maybe his love language is not words of affirmation, but it's physical touch or acts of services. Mm -hmm. So through a text, he can't feel you, nor can he show you. So maybe for you just saying, somebody, hey, saying, 
Good morning, beautiful. Like, have a great day. I'm missing you. Wish you were with me. For like, you maybe, maybe for you, you'd be like, oh, I'm loved. But you're just like, okay, I'll see you tonight. Thank you. Now you're happy, like, woohoo. But he's like, that's all she wrote. You know, like, right. whatever, da da da. But when he sees you, acts of services are people who like to pull out your chair. Mm-hmm. They like to, you know, um, you know, like walk you to the bathroom when you're at a club or they want to be like, oh, hey, well, do you need help with this? I'll help you. Um, and then there's a, a people who are physical touch. Like, oh, I'm going to hug you. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to play with your hair. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hold your hand. I'll put my arm around you. I'm going to hug you. I'm going to touch you. To them, that's love. So mm-hmm. I, that's, I think that's a really difficult question because you. I feel at that moment, you'd right. have to learn that person's love language. Because what if their love language, words of affirmation, is last? Mm-hmm. But maybe his number one is acts of services. So when he, so when he sees you, yes. he's going to be like, oh, what can I do for you? Like He's going right. like, to cater to you. That could but be when, very confusing. But when yeah. you go home, you're like, I didn't even get a good night text. Or you're like, night. Mm-hmm. So you get to be like, he's not a words of affirmation person. Mm-hmm. So I feel like there's certain situations, like everybody, we should learn each other's love language Mm -hmm. so that we could learn to speak theirs. Because my love language is usually opposite of a lot of people like me, Mm -hmm. you know? But when I, I, so if you go online, you guys, to Google and look up five love languages quiz, Mm -hmm. and this is not even an ad or a plugin, I just think it's an amazing way to learn your lover or your spouse, Mm -hmm. have them take it, learn their love language, and speak their love language, not yours. Mm-hmm. And likewise, they let them learn what your love language is so they can speak it back to you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so That's let's true. go back to... Um, <laughs> so, so, um, so, okay, so uh, bad boy versus nice guy. And the guy who texts, good night, my beautiful queen. I'll be missing you all versus the bad guy, the bad boy um, syndrome mm-hmm. of um, night girl. Mm-hmm. I want to feel like the question we'll have to go deeper is, but when you're with them, is it different? Yes. You know, like maybe just a night girl, but when you're with them, he's like, like trying to serve you, trying to like give you compliments yes. or maybe like, how can I help you with That's this? Confusing. Or maybe he's always paying for gifts. Like, mm-hmm. can I pay for this? Can I pay for that? How can I help? How can I help? Mm-hmm. And maybe all this girl wants to hear is don't buy me shit. Like, like, stop doing nice things for me. Like, can you just fucking tell me you like me or you mm-hmm. love me? Mm-hmm. Which means their love language is words of affirmations. Right. And then some people, like everyone's love language is so different. So that I would honestly say, y'all need to take a love language test and find out what each of your love language is because I feel like that would be on, off. Now, if it's the same love language... Like, what do you mean? And the he, same is like... The same, like... Cause personally if, and... If a bad guy text. just texts me, like, night girl, and I didn't hear from him, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, oh, okay. But I know his love language is words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, like, what are you doing? Who are you with? And why right. do you credit short? Mm-hmm. Real easy. You know, right. so it's, it's really... I feel like that's really how that goes. And honestly, at the end of the day, if you... I feel like if you're dating someone... And he is a bad boy versus a gentleman, or if he's a gentleman or not. If I, if I made a request and I said, you know what? I really love when you text me goodnight and tell me how beautiful I am and that we had a great day together. That makes me feel so special. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And then he still says night. <laughs> Yeah, we're not going on a second date. <laughs> oh, oh, hell no. The ZZ? Was it like ZZ? Just ZZ. <laughs> there you go. That, I'm on, like, we're not, we're not on the ZZ same level. With a thumbs like, up. I wouldn't even. Okay, so let's, let's try to get these next questions real fast. So, um, okay, so to you, what are the five top actions a man can do to be chivalrous? Mm-hmm. Show that he's polite and has manners. Okay. Open the door, but not, but open the door, not just like for the first three months, like consistency is very important. I think for a woman, yes. because a woman will notice when you stop opening the door. No, there is, 
a very just do it. I feel like you build trust with the woman. I almost feel like guys, if you want to put a girl, you want to really play a girl and put her on game. Yeah, actually, like do some gentlemanly shit, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like open the door for her. But if you're putting up a front, you will stop opening the door at some point because you get tired. Yeah, Y'all, this is really because one thing me. I can say is honestly, uh, Jasmine's dad, even to this day, we're just like homie homies. I know. He to this day, he still no matter where we go, he always goes to my side of the car and opens the door. I tell you that my business partner, six years, still opens the door. Yeah. And I'm like, I got this, and he's nope. Nope, open the and door. Just, My chair at the restaurant, pull it out. I'm just like... And it oh. always reminds me, like, this sets the example, which also, too, when I date somebody, like, I let it be known. Like, I always try to test, like, okay, first date, second date, like... You can open the door, you not. And when they don't, I will always let them know, like, I like my Hello. door to be... Hello. <laughs> I like my door to be opened. Do they think makes, you're too diva -ish? I no, mean, this generation honestly, is a little different. Like, a couple of the bad boys would be like... Like, they, they probably go back to their friends and no, say, she asked me to open her door. No, but <laughs> man, you, man, you, they might, they'll, you know? they'll put on her front the first couple times. Literally, they'll be like, I'm not going to be controlled. And I'm just like, it's not even a I'll sit in the car. Like, you, you know, they had to come over and open it. Cause I, bring, still, bring gonna, I will stand there. Bring, bring I will stand bring, at bring, the car door till it's open. Bring me my so dinner really to the want, car. <laughs> it's almost like if you really want this at the end of the night, you better open the door. Even oh though I know you just God. said you don't do this. And he'll walk over like, uh, open it and be like, like attitude, but honestly, at the at literally like within a few days later, because we actually connected the he rest of the, the night. Door. <laughs> no, seriously, every single person I've ever dated, everybody, because I requested it, every they've always opened the car door for okay, me. Okay, so let's get this right. So when do you re when is a good time to request to open the door? Like the first date. Okay, when you're in the car and say I need you to open my door, or what do you no, say? No, no, no. Tell well, me what well, you say. You have to get in the car first. Okay, yeah. Tell me what you so, say. So. What will happen is, is um, like, you know, they'll come into the house, usually, you know, mm -hmm. have a few mm -hmm. shots, boom, mm -hmm. we'll walk out of the car. He'll go to his side, mostly, if they're young guys, usually. Mm -hmm. Older guys, honestly, older guys usually, 80% yes. of the time, will open the door for me, always. Absolutely. Younger guys, no. They'll mm -hmm. go to their side, get in the car, and they'll be turning the car, and they'll be, like, picking the song, and they're like, da -da -da -da, like <laughs> what are you doing out there? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll press the and they'll, they'll reach over and press the unlock button. Oh I'll still stand there. Oh and they'll go down the window. They're like, "What's on?" I'm like, "You didn't open the door for me." He's and they'll like, be like, "Do you want to meet me there?" Get they'll be like, car. "Really? <laughs> like, is it that much? Like, is oh that big of a deal?" I'm like, "Actually, it is. Like, it makes it me is. feel really special if you were to open the door for me. Right? If you because treat a woman, if I, if I cook you dinner, it would make you feel special. If I wash right. your clothes, it make you feel special." So if you yes. want to get anything tonight, open my fucking door. Yeah. And, it says a lot. And they'll, they'll, they'll literally always get out of the car, open the door every single time. Might be an attitude, and maybe there might be a little exactly. like, exchange I was going to ask you, malacara? Yeah, for mm. sure, malacara. <laughs> malacara. But, but then, honestly, like, with, like, we'll go on. We'll have, mm -hmm. like, a great fucking date. And then we'll talk, and, like, we'll be vibing, like, totally, like, great connection. And honestly, from then on, like, it might take a few dates if he's super masculine, like, don't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. And then I, and I would be like, I'll still stand there. You're very easy to, like, squash things and make it cool. Yeah. Like, it wasn't that big of but a deal. But they will always, always, there's a point where they will always, like, by themselves, like, you, I'll see them walking faster than me out of the movie theater and go on my side, and I'm like... <laughs> so, so, at the, so do you think a man should walk behind you? Or, like, how do, what do you think? I think it depends. If we're walking to a restaurant, walk behind me. If we're walking to a club, walk yes. behind me. Okay. If uh, anywhere we're going, I, even my girlfriends, mm -hmm. like I'm always like, walk, 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 right. walk. I want to be the last one to close the door and make sure everyone's safe. Mm -hmm. There's a safety thing that I feel. Right. I'm a woman. If I feel that and a right. man can't do that for me, he walks in front of me. Oh, hey. hell yes. no. You did yes. not just walk in front of me and give me your back. Like yes. I should always walk in front. There's certain religions. I don't want to say. I know which ones they are. But like they have like where they want the men to walk in first. And then the wives. I said wives. So <laughs> you can tell what kind of religion this is. But they want you to walk behind them. Oh, yeah. That wouldn't happen. Yeah, I know. That would definitely not happen. And I didn't me. realize that until, you know. Wow. I didn't I, even thought about that either. Yeah. And then I started like hanging out with somebody. And they always made a point of that. Of course, Latino. Uh, always walked in front of him and sidewalk, walk in the inside. And I was just like, I'm cool walking on the outside. 
you know. But then I was like, this, I get it, I get it. That's all. I love, I love that. And I, it's interesting too, because someone I used to date, me and him were talking recently, mm-hmm. and we we're talking about dating younger people because it was making fun of me, like you be dating these youngins, and mm-hmm. I'm like, like you don't be dating no youngins, and he's like, well. So we ended up having like a random conversation where like him being like, you know what? It's like I was dating somebody. He's like, I find it weird. He's like, every time we're at the club, he's like, I, he's like, I want to walk her to the bathroom to make sure, you know, like guys aren't harassing or whatever. Right. She's safe. He's like, I wait. And she always says, stop, stop being psycho. Oh my God. And I'm always like, I Dif- honestly, different like, generation. Yeah, definitely. Different like, generation. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't know. Like, I would hope you walk in the bathroom. Right. And that's also a good test, too, because if, if I have to walk in the bathroom by myself and we're in a group at a club, like, who lets a woman walk by herself to the bathroom? Yeah. Unless she's with, like, 10 girlfriends. And she's like, hey, my 10 girls are all going to the bathroom. Right. Even then, I would... Even, and I'm just, like, the girl. Like, I would still be like, okay, well, I'm going to follow to make sure everybody was okay. Right. Like, there's just certain things. But I honestly, just from my personal experience, is... See, guys have a different, like... Women set the rules. Mm-hmm. Because every time I've ever dated, even when they were young, mm-hmm. I said, hey, like... Opening the car door makes me feel very special. Mm-hmm. And I know you like when I wash your clothes and I cook for you and I get on your cock. So mm-hmm. guess what? I like when you open the car doors. So you stand outside, huh? Always. Always. <laughs> so I am not. Always. <laughs> and, 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 and she's like, but no. It's because no, I take a no. stand for myself and, and what right. I believe I'm worth. And they right. always, after that, they will always open the car but door. But I think it would be like, if you do that and you stand outside and you're like, no, I'm not getting it. It could be so awkward, but I and but I know you. You are the only one that could make it halfway dinner and be cool with it, forgotten. Most girls, the whole way through the dinner, it would be awkward. It would be so awkward, but you have that skill where you make everything like, okay, you did it, cool, moving on. Now let's have fun. But most yeah. people, it would be so freaking awkward. Like the whole dinner would be like, he's probably like, I hate this girl. Calling his homies. She asked me she wouldn't get in the fucking car until I opened the door. So I had to get back out. <laughs> and then, go around. And then I would say, uh, do right. me a favor and ask your dad if it's appropriate to open on depends the first Depends on what kind of dad you got. It depends on the kind of dad you got. Because mm. I've been with people that the dads have been like, you're not married to her. Who cares? And I'm just, yeah, I've been, I'm just like, oh my God. You know, whatever. Ooh. Real quick, so we're going to go a little longer, okay? Sorry. Next question. Oh, wait. Should we save this one for the after hours? Next question would have been, do you think in the bedroom he can also be a gentleman mm. by maybe giving more than receiving? Mm-hmm. Shit, I'm gonna, I have like 10 motherfuckers that I can at right now on Instagram. <laughs> yeah? No, you can't. How far are we from the hour? Eight minutes. Okay, so let's do one more question. Um... Mm-hmm. Did you finish your five actions of okay, a man? The five. Okay, yeah. no, I didn't. Walking, um... Walking out. the car door. That yeah. was your number one. Okay. Filling up the gas tank. <gasps> I like that. Uh, Wait, I love this, that. To this day, to this day, my dad will literally wake up at 6 a.m., go fill up my mom's gas tank, put it back in the driveway, oh my God. and go to sleep to make sure that when she wakes up for work... See? Her car has a gas tank. That's why tank. your brother is a gentleman. Oh, my God, my brother. Your brother... I love my your brother. brother is the best he's ever, see, ever, see, ever, see, ever. See, best? That's, yes. He's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. Yes. So, okay. Um, Number two. Okay, that was two. Three. Sure she gets, okay, after a date. Some guys would just drop you up and say, I'll text you when I get home, whatever, and just say goodnight with the ZZ sleep. <laughs> right? Sleepy emoji. Uh, and goodnight. Wait, no, maybe just call. What about call? Call when you get home instead of the text message. That's Ooh. old school because back now it's like every, everybody's text, text, text. Um, let's see. That would be nice. I think I'm going to try that one. Offer, I'll call you when I get most home. Most of the time when I get home, I'm just really buzzed. I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay with both. But wouldn't it be nice if it would be like, I'll call you, you know, when I get home just to make sure you got in your house okay. Or walking them to the door. That's very gentleman. Oh, my you know? goodness. Okay. I like Every, Ladies, women, girls, everyone right now for 2020. We are going to take a stand that men should be taking you home, not yeah. the Uber. Have to, required to be a gentleman. 
walk, don't fucking honk, don't text me, I'm outside, get out of your car, walk to my front door, and if my family's home, come say hello to everybody. Yeah. Walk me out to the car, open the door, and at the end of the day, get out of the car, open my side, oh, okay. oh, I've done that too. Wait, well, let okay. me go, hold on, Wait. I got, I got one. My, my mom <laughs> always said this, if he, co- if he doesn't come to the door to face me, tiene algo que escondir. She <laughs> said, uh, a guy that doesn't come, if, if he knows, like, uh, your family's at the house. They don't come to the and door. And a guy doesn't come to the hide. door to, to pick you up for the date, that's a motherfucker that's shady and he's hiding yeah, shit. Yeah, hiding shit. Yeah. So, my mom, when we said that, I was like, oh, mom, that's probably because we're, like, fucked up. <laughs> they don't, don't want to show you that I'm fucked up, <laughs> you know? And, um, but, now, but now you're older, going back, like, gentlemen, yeah. old school, that's... That's what I want. If you can't see so and so in my family, because when I've dated people and I had something to hide because I didn't really like them, <laughs> I didn't want to see their mom, abuelita, cousin, tío, you know, brother, nobody. Don't, so I don't introduce me. Yeah, don't introduce me because I'm gonna fuck you. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> you know, so that makes sense. What mom said: if they don't, if they're not serious about you, then if they don't want to face me. That means tiene algo que. What's yeah, word? to hide. Uh, to hide. Uh, how do you say hide? To be deceitful. Coco, uh, they, they don't want you to know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay, how, that was three or four? Oh, wait, I don't know. Give me a Offer five a jacket, action. the jacket thing, you know. The jacket. If, if you're cold, they don't want to give you a jacket. And they give you their jacket. And yes. they're freezing. Yes. I feel like, that let's just is. share. <laughs> let's just yeah, share. Um, squeeze me in your hoodie with you. <laughs> yeah. We'll squeeze let's together. Let's just share. Okay, so let me give, uh, how many minutes do we have left? One. One. Okay, I'll do this fast. I gotta read it. Top five actions a man can do to be manly and chivalrous. Chivalrous. Uh-huh. Um, number one, I feel is, and above this, just because I've had this, like, out with so many people, uh-huh. is, I'm going to say before, before even the date, uh-huh. is letting baby mama know you're not even into her, that you're moving on and you're dating. That's chivalrous because you ain't hiding me. You ain't trying to be shady. And nor are you saying, oh my God, why should not gonna let me see my kid if I see you? Mm-hmm. Well, then let me know. Handle your business. Be a man. Handle your business. Take care of your baby mama and your baby. Mm-hmm. When they're taken care of, let me know. Come back. Hit me up. Seriously, like I really feel that. Like I don't want no drama with no exes, oh, no baby yeah. mama, that's, nothing. To me, that's the biggest turn off. I turn around, walk away, and I don't come back. Even if I say, "Call me when you're done," I, even if you call me, yeah. I'm done because that experience to me was just like a huge turn off. No, it's huge, especially huge. when like you hear, or even like like I'll be like just talking to a guy, and I'm like, "Oh, you know, I'm gonna go to Cabo and the kids this weekend. Want to come?" And he's like. Oh, well, I can't because I don't have a um, passport. So I haven't paid child support in 10 years. What the hell? I can't even drive to pick you up. Okay, I'd be like, what the hell? Okay, so one, um, make sure there's no baby drama. Mama, baby, exes, all that stuff. I'm out. Boom. Two, ask me on a date. Come pick me up from the front door. Yeah. Um, Three, open the door of the car. Be a gentleman. Um, for we, and we don't even have to go anywhere fancy, you know. Like if, the man, if he if he says like, let's go to Tacos Mexico. I already know he don't have money for more, so I just want to enjoy the company. Or he could even be like, hey, like I'll make I'll make pancakes for That's you. That's even better, actually. Make dinner. like I'm cool. Like yeah, it's about the thought, not mm-hmm. about the money. Mm-hmm. And then five, honestly, at the end of the day, you know, open the door for me, walk me to my front door. And how cute and wonderful and fairy tale with him to be like, good night. And then waited until I got in the front door second. Um, safety. <laughs> okay, these are our definition tips and advice, men, from actually a lot of women. We have a whole bunch of women in this room at the moment on how to be a gentleman. It's 2020. No more fuckboys, no more bullshit, no more cheaters, no more being abusive, no more shadowing and ghosting women. Let's just be honest up front, right? Even as women too, like be honest, be loving, be caring, be feminine, set your motherfucking boundaries, let a motherfucker know how he needs to treat you. 
bounce if you don't. Very true. 2020, whole new vibe, positivity, up level, next level this shit. Um, so right now, we're going to put uh, to Patreon. We're going to do a special after hour show with Lisa. And I think, that I kind of like this topic. Do you think in the bedroom he can be a gentleman by giving more than receiving? Oh, actually, I could tag five people right now <laughs> on my Instagram on this quote. Okay, guys, this is Diane Munoz with Lisa Daniel. Please plug in all your social medias. Lisa Daniel. Oh, Instagram, Lisa Daniels. Twitter, Lisa Daniels 3, number 3. Website? Uh, OnlyFans. Okay. So OnlyFans.com slash Lisa Daniels 3. Yes, make sure you guys follow Lisa sexiest blondest colombian bombshell you guys will ever follow colombiana so right now we're gonna get down and dirty make sure you follow us over at patreon because we're gonna go into some sexual conversation i'm ready